from YouTube. The video you're about to see is a reaction video. It is a video of opinion. Nothing personal is meant toward the individuals in the videos. My volition uh, for posting these reaction videos is to look at these videos and critique them through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Usually they are quantum grammar related videos and I'm looking for correct sentence structure knowledge here. And I'm also looking at the claims made in the videos through the lens of correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar. Now you may noticed that I'm doing certain things with my hands. I am not making any secret hand signs or gestures. When one is doing public speaking, there's only so many things you can do with your hands. You can fold them, maybe put them on your hips, dangling lifelessly at your sides, put them in your pockets, hold them like this, whatever it is. I'm not making any type of signaling gestures, unless I do this, which means shaka. Keep in mind the information, the things that I'm sharing in this video are for educational purposes only, entertainment purposes only, nothing personal towards the individuals in the videos themselves. Thanks and enjoy. This is a special YouTube video uh, that I'm doing for continuance of the evidence. Um, and the picture you see in front of you may or may not have something to do with the topic I'm about to share. If you're familiar with this channel, if you've been a subscriber for the past six months to a year, you will know that I do what I call Coral Blade Grotto broadcasts, where I will do reaction videos to other YouTube videos. Like I'll play the video and then I'll listen to it and I'll give my reactions to them. I'll give my kuleana. I'll give my feedback to them. Now the reaction video is a very popular thing on YouTube. People do them all the time to music videos, to other YouTube content creators, so on and so forth across the board. Now, some folks don't like that when someone does that. Like for example, if someone would take one of my videos and react to it, which I don't know if they have or they haven't, but if they would, I can tell you what I wouldn't do. I wouldn't go to YouTube and cry about it because I don't care because I know what I know. I know that I'm correct as far as correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar know, uh, goes. I am 100% confident and solid in my knowledge of that. So anything anyone wants to do with it, that's up to them. That's their karma, whatever. All these videos I make are public. If someone wants to react to them, have at it. And so I do that with other people usually related to correct sentence structure, or common law, or courts, or foreign vessels and dry dock, or, or just different interesting things that I find interesting and fun to react to. Now, as I said, the reaction video is a very popular thing on YouTube. Lots of people do it, and very seldom does anyone get a copyright strike. Because, really, the way people think about it is any publicity is good publicity, and it's healthy, and anyone who would get upset about that, well, there's something a little extra going on there, as we'll see here. Because a, f a short time ago, Rachel Prince, otherwise known as colon space Rachel hyphen Dara colon space Prince period, she filed a copyright strike against my channel through YouTube. Now, as I mentioned before, these people, which I, I thinking about it in hindsight, I don't think Russell had anything to do with it. I think it's all her, as a matter of fact. And I can tell you for sure, she does not have closure on the grammar. She has no idea how to use it. And if I was not correct with my volition in doing that video, then she could have actually filed a correct sentence structure document contract postal vessel court venue to uh, try and address the issue. But she doesn't know how to do that, I don't think. So the only recourse 
to get me to shut up about criticizing Russell's grammar was to go through YouTube and try and file a copyright strike, which failed miserably. Now, yes, the video was taken down by YouTube. Yes, that is true. But the copyright strike is gone. It doesn't exist. It's been erased. And I've uploaded that video on other platforms with no difficulty whatsoever. So that's that. So then I did another video, which uh, let me show you which, which one I'm talking about here. The reaction was to this video uh, called Basic Postmasters or something. Uh, it wasn't a YouTube video. It was actually taken from a public Telegram channel. Meaning that it's a channel that has members. And this is the video that was posted on that Telegram channel. And it was shared with me. It was not private. It's on a telegram channel a public telegram channel so i reacted to it to the audio of it okay and guess what happened she tried to file another copyright strike and i'm going to show you the email that was sent to me by youtube look at look at this look at this ladies and gentlemen so that now let's go over this uh grammar there's no colon in front of the August 6, 2023. So that is a, that's a, that's a pronoun. Colon of the cease and cyst letter, dangling participle colon here, and then in brackets, YouTube and Jason Matthew Glass cease and desist. Cease and desist from posting and reposting my private members only work, meme talk, interpretation. These freaking people. Respect my privacy terms and choice for privacy or legal action. Legal action. What does that mean, Rachel Prince? Legal action. You're going to get an attorney? <laughs> oh, my goodness. I look forward to the action. Bring it. <laughs> oh, my goodness gracious. This is some of the funniest stuff. This is the first time I'm actually reading this, um, this part of it. The following data is the least. Look at the time and effort she put into this. I must have really stepped on a corn. I must have really pushed a button. Trigger alert, as the children say these days. There is no credit to me in the name of one of my podcasts is Postmaster Basic, not Basic Postmaster, to which he advertised it on the thumbnail and in his podcast. No, that's the name of my video, not your video. Duh. Rebranding me and my brand. Uh, it should be removed. Source of goods. It may not be allowed. Allowed by whom? So goofy. My work was taken down off this YouTuber's channel for similar copyright infringement strikes. This is the second offense in six months of this YouTuber using my copyright work. This constitutes cyberbullying and picking on me. I'm picking on her because I'm criticizing what she says. Because I'm critiquing the bullshit she's sharing with the public. Oh my goodness. No, you're exactly right. Uh, I do not respect your work at all because I think you're a scam. That's what I think. That's my opinion. I think you're a scam. And I think there's a lot of integrity in what I do because I'm helping people to see exactly who and what you are and what you're doing. And that's why you're putting so much time and energy to try and stop me from doing that oh my goodness this was not paid content um, I made sure of that before I posted it it was from a public telegram channel that anyone can join now of course people can get kicked out of that channel <clears throat> but it is a public uh, channel 
Changing my podcast name from "Pony Means a Large White Woman with Light Features" is not as racist and sexist. <laughs> Just like I said at the beginning, ladies and gentlemen, the picture on the thumbnail, the picture at the beginning of this uh, video, is not necessarily connected to what's in the video. Okay. I just took a screenshot of a Google search, and that's what the screenshot was. I never said anywhere that that was her, because I really have no idea what she looks like. I just used what Google gave me, so I guess maybe Google is racist and sexist. Because of YouTube leaked my podcast, the public devalued my product and got released to people who should not have it. Why should I even try to keep anything private? Well, if you got nothing to hide... I mean, rebranding basic postmaster. And then YouTube says, thank you for your message. However, we remain concerned that your copyright notification is not valid. For some or all the videos identified in your notification, content will remain on YouTube. If he has concern relating to harassment, your privacy, safety, or other abuse issues, uh, to help you better understand the situation as well to report such content. Yeah. Um, the only safety issue that I see is the safeguarding of a scam, I guess. Because I have no volition to do harm to anyone. I'm peaceful and neutral. What I do have a volition to do is to warn people about scams. To make people aware of individuals like Rachel Dara Prince and her material so that they can make their own judgments. Okay? That's about it. But, I mean, that's each individual's choices. It's not up to her and it's definitely not up to me as to make choices for people. I think it's definitely up to each individual as to how they want to do things. Um, let's put it this way. All of the YouTube videos on my YouTube channel are public. People can do whatever they want with them. It's up to them. I can't stop them. I don't want to stop them. Whatever they want to do. Okay? Anything that I create or partake in that is confidential is confidential between myself and the other contract party. And I make sure I vet them before I contract with them. Now, there have been a few instances when someone has broken confidentiality. But even in that instance, I don't care. Because there is nothing that I'm doing that I have to hide from anybody in the public. I keep it confidential because... When I teach these things with each individual, it, it's more for the individual's uh, consideration for them rather than for me. If it were up to me, every single workshop that I did could be made public. It, it doesn't matter. Uh, but for consideration for a lot of people who consider, you know, they're a little leery of it and they're a little maybe afraid to do that, I make it confidential. But every time that it's been the confidentiality has been broken, it's been because of the other contract party who's done it. And guess what, folks? I've never threatened anyone. I've only made them aware that, hey, this is confidential. You agreed to confidentiality. You're violating the terms and conditions. If you continue to do so, I'm going to break bulk and we're not contracting anymore. And that's it. They can do whatever they want. I'm not here to force them to do anything. And that is the biggest psychological lesson right now that I can think of to teach people out there listening to this right now. Volition is the most important thing. Okay? Correct sentence structure, communication, policy, syntax, grammar is about stopping trespass. Stopping wrongful, malicious trespass. It's about safekeeping your vessel. It's not about forcing someone to do something. That's what the fiction does. The fiction uses force to make people do something they don't want to do. It's like 
if you think about it, if you have, uh, let, let's use racism for an example. If you have a predominantly one, one race in power, okay, now this other race feels oppressed. They feel like they're being um, prejudiced against, you know, they're being discriminated against. So this other group is constantly bickering with the group in power to come into power because they feel like they're not being treated fairly. So then all of a sudden, for argument's sake, this group that's being oppressed now battles and wins this group, and now this new group is in power, and the old group is out. This group is going to do the same thing or worse to the group that just got kicked out. It's just a repetitive cycle of force and violence and stupidity. And that's exactly what this person is promulgating, telling people what they should or shouldn't do. You see what I'm saying? They want to silence critical voices. That's just like in, um, you know, what we hear about, like Nazi Germany or things like that, where any, or even today with the... um, political climate of today where they try and silence anyone who speaks out against what the current narrative, mainstream narrative is. Anyone who disagrees with it gets silenced, gets canceled. Anyone who speaks their opinion, not allowed to criticize anyone. It might hurt their feelings or or whatever. Devalue their spirit or whatever, however you want to word it. It's ridiculous. And that's exactly what this individual is what I perceive that they're doing. Um, They're promulgating that. They're not open to criticism. And they're very, very um, touchy about what they're doing. If anyone speaks ill of them or criticizes their work. Me, you can criticize me if you want to. I don't care. I don't really care. Um... If you like me or you don't like me, what I care about is that what I'm doing is correct. As far as the grammar goes and as far as doing my duty and due diligence to warn people about individuals like her. And if you notice, I'm not really mentioning Russell anymore in relation to her because, I mean, I do see him from time to time mentioning things that might be related to me or what I'm doing. But I can say this with with the knowledge and memory that I have. Russell J. Gould has never spoken ill of me that I've heard in a video. And he's never spoken ill of me personally in an email. So that leads me to think that it's not really him that's doing that. But for some reason, it's the people around him. I could be wrong. I don't know. But I'm totally open to correcting my mindset when it comes to that guy uh, if the facts are laid on the table and things are, are all out in the open, which I don't think will ever happen because the guy hasn't corrected his grammar. He hasn't admitted all the mistakes in the grammar. His students continue to use incorrect grammar. This woman, for example, uses incorrect grammar doesn't know how to file a correct sentence structure, communication, policy, syntax, grammar, document, contract, postal vessel, court, venue, or even how to do it on YouTube. Like, like the way I'm doing right now, I'm using YouTube as a platform to address this issue. Why wouldn't she do that? I know why. Well, I mean, I don't know why. I have a guess as to why. Because she knows she doesn't have a leg to stand on. She just wants to shut me up. So what I'm going to do, this is my plan, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is I am going to stop doing this on YouTube with her videos. What I am going to do is take those videos and take them to different platforms, like perhaps Rumble or Steemit or TikTok or uh, Instagram or Twitter I'm gonna, or X, whatever you call it now. I'm going to do videos pertaining to her in particular if, if I feel you know the need to do that 
to warn people again if new material comes out. I'm not going to put it on YouTube. It's not necessary, really. So she can rest assured that that won't happen anymore. This will probably be the last one that I do that mentions her name in this context. So hope you enjoyed this. This was, this was fun. Um, keep in mind the email I showed you was not marked private and confidential. It was not. So she initiated it. It was her choice to share that information. And again, it wasn't marked private and confidential. She didn't put private and confidential on it. YouTube didn't. So it's not private and confidential. It's public. So there you go. You know what? I mean, <laughs> you want to get off the porch and run with the big boys? Well, catch up. If you'd like to learn correct sentence structure, communication, parse, syntax, grammar, contact me at the email address listed at the bottom of your screen. I will set up a 10 to 15 minute video consultation between you and me. You can ask me whatever you like, and I'll do the same, and we'll see if this is something that uh, you're prepared to commit to. If you'd like to support the channel, click on the Join button underneath this video. There are two tiers of membership. Uh, the second tier has access to exclusive content not available to the public. Once again, thank you for watching. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Turn the notification bell to all so that you don't miss any of my premieres because I do post on a very consistent basis. There are over 500 correct sentence structure videos for here you to study on this channel. My gift to you, my fellow mankind. Thank you again, and I'll see you in the next one.